Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jerica, and it's been quite a while since I filmed a video. I wanted to do a six month update for, you know, me and the baby, but the baby's not with me. Luckily, my husband, or thankfully, not luckily, because I really miss my baby. Uh, thankfully, my husband took him to grandmother's house so that I can have some time to myself so I can record because during the day when I'm with the baby, all night, all day, I give him so much attention and when he is napping, I tend to just like clean or cook. So I got to film something today and since I can't do that update and I can't do any um, like clothing or any haul videos which are my favorite, they're my favorite videos because I really like to watch them and I like to film them because they're funny, fun and stuff. Anyway, I don't have anything like that new or that much. I do have eyelashes but I'll do like something later. I decided to do a hair video since that has been my current like struggle. I have been transitioning for the second time now I've transitioned I'm trying to transition to non-relaxing hair um, I'm not saying I'm transitioning to like natural like that shit is too much work the first time I tried to go natural or tried stopping my relaxer it was so much work so much money spent on products like it's just too much work so now it's more of like I'm not relaxing my hair and I'm being a little conscious of what products I put on my hair, but not as much as before. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Life's too short. I can't think of my hair so much to, like, to devote so much time and energy to that. So, you know, I'm, I'm okay. And since I, I'm not even a vegetarian, so, like, why would I, like, give my hair so much attention? And I don't even give my body that much attention. So I should probably, like, eat healthier first before I try to do that to my hair. Because, I mean, come on, that's pretty selfish of me anyway so basically um I, after i found out i was pregnant i was like okay i'm gonna do my relaxer for my baby but like, you know my aunts my mom they all relaxed their hair when they carried all of us and we all turned out pretty okay so if people still want to relax their hair when they are pregnant go ahead that's your choice my choice was not to just because i wanted to see what was going to happen and yeah so I waited, I waited, and I didn't do my relaxer. I would um, do rollos like normally, and that helped a lot, especially in the winter because like I just wore hats and it like flattened my hair, and it just it worked out fine. Um, once the summer started to hit, I even went to a party recently, and I tried to do rollos like no, cannot strain my hair when I have rollos when it's summer, when it's warm outside, basically. Anyway, and so basically. After childbirth, after a few months, my hair was normal. It was like fine. It, like I didn't see much difference. I didn't see it grow like a crazy amount, and all this, cause all this stuff that like was supposed to happen. But what did happen to my hair, which is not something that people normally talk about, I've heard people had like chunks come out of their hair, come out of their head. Um, and that's why they do the mom cut because their hair fell out or because there's just no time so shorter hair is easier to manage but for me after my son was five months old I realized or between four to five months I realized my hair was like really thin in the front and then suddenly in a matter of a couple of a few days maybe a week I saw that I was like completely bald pretty much like all up here you can see that it's really thin and it just looks like I have baby hair but I never had baby hair before like I always wanted baby hair when my sister was growing up like her teenage friends at that time like that was all they did they took out their baby hairs with their gel and their little toothbrushes and it was so cute and I used to be like oh I want to do that when I get to do my hair like I was I'm six years younger than my sister so it was like a big difference when we were that young um man that didn't work out for me so she was like 16 and they were all rocking their baby hair and i had like the cleanest like hairline like i was even made fun of when i was in junior high like people would be like oh like the guys would be like hey what's up He's like so where's your barber where'd you get that like, sh neat at sh shape up so that was pretty sad um but that's life so then that's when i realized that i was lo i lost so much hair because i would have like some baby hair and then it just looked so bad i was so self-conscious all of this just like was a lot thinner i have like pictures from maybe two years ago like april two years ago and april this year the difference is like so depressing i i don't even know if i cried i felt like i wanted to cry though for sure but i didn't like i knew that i wasn't dying or anything and this wasn't like a permanent change or a permanent thing that was happening 
I mean, you know, there was times that I was thinking, oh my God, what if my hair never goes back? Now that it's growing back, I'm like a little bit more reassured and I'm more confident again. But it's so hard because like, you're going through all these things with your body. Like I haven't had a period, which is great, but I haven't had a, I mean, that's TMI, but I haven't had one in over a year since, bef you know, since I got pregnant. I'm breastfeeding still. And it's like, my body doesn't belong to me. And then the fact is that my hair either, you know, it's just so much and it was, you know, uh, but again, that's like a, a six month update kind of thing that I'll talk about. But for hair, like it was a big deal. So, and my son was losing, it has lost his hair too. He had like lost his like baby hair from like all that uh, cradle cap, like all the stuff. So mommy and son are bald, <laughs> which is pretty funny. But so we're like growing our hair together you now. Another bonding experience that we're going to be sharing. So, you know, you gotta look at it lightly. So, anyhow, I am transitioning. I am basically just, this is my, what is it called? Like, uh, this is my protective style. I'm not doing a big chop. I chop off my hair. I like trim it two or three inches, like every, every two or three weeks. My mom's like nervous now. It's so funny because before when I used to want long hair, she would like trim my hair and it would like straight up, you know, be ch like chops. Like she would chop my hair every time. And I just be like, oh God, I've never had long hair. So now she's like nervous. So yeah, so I'm like cutting it more and more. Um, the weird thing about my hair is like from here and over, it's so kinky, curly, like type C curl, I think you'll call them, like really tight ringlets. And then over here and like this part of my hair, it's super like loose curls. Some of them are a little tighter, but it's just like so much more manageable. When I, I notice it so much when I'm detangling, because this side is like a breeze. Like I detangle this in a heartbeat, and then like on this side, it's like serious work. Like I gotta put in that kinky curly, I gotta put in conditioner, I gotta leave it in, and then I gotta like, you know, comb it. It takes a while, like it takes, you know, parts. Like it takes a while. Um, and my mom notices a lot too. She always, noticed when she would do my relaxer like as i was growing off that i had different textures in my hair which is so strange because you think like you know when people have mixed hair it's like all together it's like you know it's like kind of curly or straight or whatever you know that kind of hair but for me it was just like literally i had different crops like i'm growing like i don't know like cabbage in one part and corn in another i don't know what i'm talking about but you get it like it's completely different textures so when she cuts my hair she can't pull on her hair she has to just like i have it i have it really wet and then she'll just like cut from the length of what she sees like she can't pull it basically because if she pulls it then it'll be completely different like it's so ridiculous how my hair is um i'll try to do another video where i have it out or I'll maybe i'll put in this video like kind of how my hair is like when it's wet when it's drying when it has dried with product when it dries without product like it's pretty weird it's pretty uh, it's a lot of work but that's what i'm doing right now i kind of just want it to be natural just because i want i've never seen my hair like this since i was what my mom did my first relaxer when i was eight years old like eight years old can you believe putting chemicals on an eight year old like i can't fathom that right now when i was younger i didn't think it was such a big deal because everyone was doing it but like i was so i was a baby i'm such a like i see eight year olds now i'm like oh my god you're such a baby and it's like to think that my mom was like oh let me just do that to my daughter it's so much easier to manage their hair this way but i can't knock it i can't knock it so yeah it's nice to think of like what's gonna what it's gonna look like i'm excited for the summer because now i'll have like voluminous hair when i get out of the beaches and stuff it's gonna be super short though so it's not gonna be as sexy as i was picturing it but we'll see it's gonna be nice to not like be self-conscious because when you have your relaxer it's like super straight and like your hair looks so thin and it just doesn't look that good you know if unless you have like some extensions in there but I'm sure that wouldn't look good either. Anyway. So yeah, that's pretty much my struggle. Um, I will continue with hair updates because just cause. It's, again, I'm not doing like this natural thing. I'm just taking it easy. I'm being conscious slightly of like certain products that I put into my hair. But by any means, it's not a completely natural thing. I'm not like going in on this. Like, you know, a lot of the other channels are dedicated to it, which I have so much respect for them. Even my sister, like she's like so into the natural which is great, her hair looks fantastic, but I don't have that kind of time, 
and I don't want to look so my sister be looking crazy sometimes out there with her protective styles like like that's not the business sometimes I'll be looking at her snapchats and I'm like what's going on like why are you outside like that like she's lucky she's a stay-at-home mom because I think she would probably get fired no that would be a complete lawsuit but anyway you get what I mean all right guys and I'll probably include her in another of my hair update videos because why not right okay so I'll see you guys later I hope you enjoy the video Peace.